Super. It's from a ship's fitting, whether it's a cross-channel ferry or a liner or whatever, and people buy marine artefacts, yeah. and that's what this is. So the steward would fill the copper reservoir with water. You'd keep in this department your toothbrushes and your flannels and your washing accoutrements. When it was time to have a wash, lo and behold, you'd whiz open, wow, the wash hand basin, which would be filled by pressing this little nickel tap. You'd have your wash, and when you had your wash, whoosh, it disgorges the waste into a galvanized container on the back, and when that needs to be disgorged, you undo the bottom flap and take out this fellow. When it's full, you chuck it overboard. And where did you get it from? went to an auction, you understand? Yeah. And this yacht, it, it was sort of antiques at this auction. Yeah. And that's why it was so expensive. Well, you did, see, you did you have to pay a lot then? Well, I paid at 52 pounds 52? in old currency. What, in the 1950s? Yes. 52 old pounds? Yes. Gosh, that was a price. If you were selling it at auction in a marine sale, I think you could get between two and three hundred pounds yeah, no, for it. That's all? Yeah. That's all. My goodness. After all those years, I'm keeping, keeping anything myself for 50 years. I know. And I can only get 400 pounds. Well, 400 pounds top end, I reckon. I never heard the like. 